to make a glowing rock material and this is the lava material that I made the tutorial is being is uploading so no problem there um, so a, a rock material um, with a glow and pulse from between the cracks so let's get started right away oh sorry my bad material and what should I name it rock underscore glow wow um so we are not gonna use any external resources or it is all given to us in the starter content so yeah what we are gonna do today is first press and hold t to get two texture samples one will be the result normal this take one of the normals and plug it into the normal you don't want to mess with this then the other one will be basil but this time i'm gonna have to use oh just pick any one of those refuse now we have this just hold three and this is the vessel we want the cracks to glow if i press three right three will get me a vector i'm just going to convert it to a parameter just give it a yellowish shade of glow first let me put it into the emission emissive color right orange shade of glow will do it yep that will sure look good i'm just gonna rename it to <coughs> emission color <clears throat> so now every texture is made up of three textures and three color channels red green and blue so i'm gonna and each one is a is in a grayscale value so we can use them to use them as a mask as well and that is exactly what i'm gonna do today first i'm gonna multiply this three vector by a scalar parameter to control my glow now actually first i'm gonna drag off another multiply you can just hold the M and left click to get a multiply node by the way and then in this one I'm gonna have a scalar parameter that is editable in an instant you can just hold S and left click right and here I'm gonna put in um, material nope um, glow come on what has happened to my G? Glow intensity. Yep. Put in something to like about 100. I'm gonna apply. Now there is another thing I just need to do. There you won't see any effect here because it is not plugged anywhere. I'm gonna drag this off. Now first I'm gonna right click here and search for a time load. This will get you the time elapsed, I mean the current, like the game time, right? And I'll just drag off this pin and search for sign. Sign will give you a waveform from minus one to one in this case. And we don't want a black glow, so I'm gonna add a constant value. This is gonna control my, and I'm gonna multiply these two values by the way. I'm gonna set the scalar parameter here and set it to something like five and we are gonna get this to pulse intensity so this is your emission done right here so what i'm doing is getting the time converting it into a waveform so that it goes like very less glow to high glow and then back to a less glow and high glow this will continue um endlessly due to the time node now pulse intensity is the sign will make a waveform of minus one to one pulse intensity basically 
um change is the minus one value because that is important we don't want any black value right there so glow intensity is and then we are multiplying these two values together um, glow intensity and pulse intensity to get a final emission and color intensity and just here i'm gonna just drag in and the multiply what i'm actually doing is dragging off and searching the asterisk this will get to you the multiply or you can just search for multiply so now i'm gonna use my red channel right so in i'll just show you here you go <coughs> I'll just open this <coughs> yeah should be this one I don't want my alpha yes as you can see I've got this texture here I'm I'm gonna use my red channel it is all white and black at the edges what I want is that is the black is not visible in this channel I want the black edges that is the cracks to be visible and the rest of the area to be black so what do i do then i'll drag off and one minus this will invert the grayscale values okay that's what it is and then i'm gonna use a power so what this power will basically do is control um let's just say the, i'll just show you start preview node now as you can see here this will control the contrast basically if i set this to rock coverage and it is you here i'm gonna set this to 100 now as you can see only the edges are white and the rest of it is black and then i'm gonna clamp it so that it will um, clamp will get you a minimum and max value it will just set this to a float between and then plug this into the multiply and set this into the emissive color and that should be it and done and you have this awesome looking rock material that just looks good like hell you know what i'm gonna add just one little functionality to it if i don't have any then it will be completely black but i want a base color right let me just apply it let's see now i have this base color applied to it here what if i want um, more color control i'm just gonna search for blend overlay this will be my blend <coughs> for a base i want a three vector convert to parameter <coughs> this is for base color tint right for the default i'm gonna put this to white so what i'm gonna do set this to the base now the result i'm just gonna multiply it by the base color this will give you a good result this will actually take this and blend these two textures together this is what the node does not the and the linear interpolate works different way but i normally use this for tinting and just put this and then i'm gonna take the main texture base color and multiply it by this node and then put this into the base color but what if i but let's just say i don't want this tint to be working but i want this but i want the user to have an option for it right so just what do we need to do just drag off from here and search for static switch now i'll just drag up the value and search for bool static bool parameter just name it base color tint right yep looks good to me is it pulsing 
Should be. Seems like it pulsed there. <coughs> yep, it is. So, yep, there is a uh, that slight pulse right there. I can increase the pulse intensity in the material. Right, I'll just show you guys that as well. What if I used uh, multiply here? Let's see what that does. More surely it will completely destroy the look, but let's try for the sake of trying. No, this will not look good because it is being multiplied. The sign will actually the waveform minus one to one will be multiplied minus five to five. That will completely black. So that is why it is happening. So now you have just seen what sign does. That's why I'm doing add. So it is. So the effect will increase the minus one, not multiply. I'm just gonna put this into P. B to A. I'm just gonna apply this right now. There's one more thing we need to do now. I have said this grab your faults and set this to the texture. Now, if um, let me just show you. I'm gonna go ahead and search for UV sphere. My bad, UV sphere sphere. Yep, material sphere. I'm just gonna apply material, the material to this. How I'm gonna do that? I'll just show you. Just click on browse, right click, create material instance, and put this here. <coughs> My bad, sorry. Now, as you can see, it is clearly pulsing like hell, and it looks awesome to me but what if i want no actually no i was explaining this to you right now the switch parameters basically is saying that if this value is false then this false value that is by base color only the base color not without that without the tint will be put it will be forwarded to the base color but if this is true the value that is calculated with the tint will be applied to the base color okay so this is basically how static switch works and hopefully it is pretty straightforward now i'll just show you guys the power of a material and just drag it off here and let me just put it something around here at the edge maybe yeah so basically if I change my mission color right now okay my bad I did something wrong base color tint if it is true then it is using this and then Otherwise, it shouldn't be happening. Okay, my bad. I plugged it into the wrong place. If the base color tint is true, if this value is set to true, then I will use this, right? And then the false one will go here. Simple. Apply and this should not work now wow if i just oh my bad that was the emission color not the base color tint i was so worried there yes so i have this i this show you guys what I can do with this stuff right my glow intensity will set this to an awesome looking glow and this is my glow intensity right yep 
now if I increase my pulse this is actually pulsing and it looks so awesome the pulse effect I'll just show you with a close-up it looks awesome you'll notice a slight pulse there it is very slowly increasing and decreasing and that looks awesome and I'll just put something like this here make it bright rock coverage if I increase it you can see because I'm increasing the exponential value now I will show you what has happened here where is it yeah my rock coverage will when I am rock coverage is controlling the um, let's just say power value exponential exponent value of this if I increase this the rock um, what is happening basically um, start preview node disable real time preview okay cool yeah so if I increase this rock decrease this let's just say then this white will spread but if I increase this then the, this area is black and we are using the white areas to multiply that is the black area will be removed from the emission so that is what basically is happening here okay or you can just say this controls the black and white contrast of this and I'm just gonna multiply it and it controls the emission color value right there okay let's just see let it compile and besides if you like this lava um this should be uploaded by now yep it has been uploaded hope you like it like share and subscribe please I'll just share it to channel and all rock coverage if i increase if i decrease this you will get an effect if i decrease this as you can see my rock coverage is being decreased and this is covering my intensity and if I increase my rock coverage so that it is only near the cracks something like that hardware is actually a good value base color tint it controls my base color my emission color will control my emission and this will help you create some seriously alien effects and that does look good like let's just say I've got this here I'm gonna put this material here I don't care what you say oh my man this is this one is here rock grow instance one if I set this back so as you can see completely editable and awesome easy to understand fast quick and easy hope you like this video make sure to um, like and share this video and if you really like this video make sure to subscribe to our channel and it will because it really helps us a lot actually uh, motivates me thanks for watching hope you like and until next time goodbye